tutorial we're going to go over try catch. So open up our app here and all I've done is declared an int variable named number and then uh, read the input from the console as number and converted it to an int and then wrote number on the console window. Okay, so this pretty much works fine when you enter any whole number, print it out, three. But what if you were to enter like a letter? Okay, so you press Q in there, enter. You're going to get an error because it's trying to convert to an INT, but Q is not a number, so it can't convert it. So what you can do is we can use a try catch statement. So you can go try, just like an if loop. You write try, so what it's doing is trying to execute the code inside these braces here and here. But if it fails, catch. And do what's inside these braces here. Like so. Okay, so there's a couple ways we can do this. We're going to do the first way is catch exception. Okay, so we're going to catch exception. And then we're going to name the exception ex. And then we're going to write it on the console window so we can see what the exception is. ex. And don't forget your system.console read key. Because if it fails, it's going to execute what's in here and then go to here. So we need a read key so we can read the exception that it's going to write. So you can press a letter again, press enter, and it gives you the, the exception. It's telling us that it can't convert the string to an INT. But most people aren't going to know what this is, and you might not want this in your application. So instead of printing out the exception, we don't have to print an exception, we can print whatever we want. We can erase the exception and print only whole numbers, like so. That way, when you press debug, you don't get a long exception when something goes wrong. You just tell the user what went wrong only for next time to only enter whole numbers. Okay, so that's how to use a try-catch statement to catch exceptions so that your program doesn't crash. In the next tutorial, we're going to go over arrays.